What's going on YouTube? This is Necro Steven. and today's LBA tryout video is my, actually the first battle that I had. Uh, it's against Skyrander, and of course he runs a fantastic channel, so I was actually a little bit um, off-put going up against him in the first round, because I know how good he is. Uh, so be sure to go check out his channel, and just in this battle, we actually both ended up bringing Mega Blastoise. I decided not to bring Mega Venusaur to any of the LBA trial videos, just because I kind of expected my opponents to expect me to bring that. So I decided, to let's use something different. Mega Blastoise fit the bill pretty perfectly. Um, I go out into, this is actually Specs Rotom in this battle. I take that Aura Sphere a lot worse than I thought I was going to. And I do take it though, so that allows me to immediately blast away with a, uh, a Specs Leaf Storm here. I'm sorry, a Scarf Leaf Storm. I switched Rotom to Specs in later battles, excuse me. Uh, so I'm able to 2-hit KO the Heliolisk pretty, pretty easily. Uh, unfortunately, with my special attack being minus 4, that means that Blastoise has to come back in and basically go for any attack. Uh, I switch in Pangoro just because Pangoro is Assault Vested, and I figured I could take any hit pretty well. Unfortunately, he burns me, and I just completely overestimate Pangoro's ability to take a hit because this Aura Sphere ends up blowing Pangoro away. And that's partially why I ended up switching to Assault Vest High Dragon later on in the LBA tryouts. Uh, shoutouts to Guy for recommending that set. Now, he knows that I'm Scarfed at this point, so I'm just going to bring back in my Rotom and scare him out with the Volt Switch. Uh, even if he stayed in and tried to go for an attacking move. Then, at the very least, I could get some damage on Blastoise. Now, he does surprise me by going out on the floor just with a red card. And that was unexpected because it forces me out into my Blastoise. But I will happily take this opportunity to Mega Evolve. And I'm going to go for a Water Pulse. I've been trying out Water Pulse over Scald lately on Mega Blastoise when I do run it. Typically, Scald is the more optimal option just because a burn is more useful uh, overall than the Confusion. But right here, the Confusion Hacks helps me out a lot because I'm able to pay him back for burning my Pangoro. Uh, so, I'm able to take out Floor just with Floor just not really being able to do anything. He goes for his Dark Pulse, and I'm actually a pretty bulky Mega Blastoise. But it turns out that he's more invested in speed. So while he does outspeed me, I do more damage with my Dark Pulse. Now I switched out there expecting him to switch, and I go out in the Skarmori, and unfortunately he just stayed in and went for another Dark Pulse, so that was kind of crappy on my part, because that means I ended up sacrificing my Skarmori, and this battle actually led to me switching over to a specially defensive Skarmori for this particular team. Uh, specially defensive Skarmori would have been, uh, at, at worst I think, 3 hit KO'd by Dark Pulse after Leftover, so I definitely wish I had special defensive Skarmory for that spot. Um, now expecting him to switch out here, I just went for Thunderbolt hoping to get some good damage on whatever he wanted to bring in. He does go out into Arcanine, but since it was not a 2 hit KO, I didn't want to stay in, and I was hoping just to uh, switch in Talonflame on a Will-O-Wisp, maybe a fire type attack. He surprises me by going for Snarl, probably expecting my Blastoise to switch in, and that means that now I get a free opportunity to hit something with the Brave Bird. And he decides to make Mandibuzz be the choice for the Brave Bird target. Now, with how little damage I did to Mandibuzz, I, I think I did almost uh, half that damage to myself after the Rocky Helmet and the Recoil. So there's no point in staying in here, especially when I think that he's going to Roost. Uh, he does surprise me by going straight for Foul Play, and that is a 2 hit KO on my Mamoswine. And I wanted to pressure this Mandibuzz into not using Roost. He could have foul played and KO'd my Mammal Swine, which would have been fine if, as long as he didn't roost, basically. Uh, but I am able to flinch his Mandy Buzz, which was incredibly useful, uh, and basically force him into switching out. Now he goes out into Arcanine on the Ice Shard, and I figured he would not go for a Fire type move just because that seemed a little obvious. I could switch into Blast Force or Talonflame pretty easily. And so I use this as an opportunity to set up my Stealth Rocks, and that ends up being a critical play just because Stealth Rocks are going to KO, Mandy Buzz enters the field, and it will not be able to defog away my rocks. Um, unfortunately, I didn't want to risk switching in Blastoise here. Blastoise is kind of running out of HP, and I didn't want to take a Snarl. And so I end up letting Mammal Swine go down to the Fire type attack. But he does reveal that it is Flamethrower, so that's good. Uh, just because it's not Flare Blitz, so he loses out on a little bit of power there, which I'm quite okay with. Uh, he hits me with Snarl, which 
is not going to be enough for him to survive the water pulse, but since my special attack is lowered, he can switch into something afterwards, aptly his blast choice and force me out or rapid spinner, um, or dark pulse in his case. Uh, with the minus one special attack, I'm not quite able to finish him off with a dark pulse, and he is able to finish off my blast choice and all that mega launcher action we had going on there. But the plus side is, he was not able to rapid spin my rocks away, so Manny Buzz is still going to be KO'd upon entry. I'm able to finish off the blast choice here with a very swift Brave Bird, and now we're kind of running into the end game here. Uh, he still has his Rhyperior, and all I have left is Rotom with the Choice Scarf. So I'm just going to stay in here and go for Flare Blitzes basically until he KOs me. I didn't want to switch out into Rotom just in case he went for Stone Edge and got a critical hit, or if he went for Rock Blast and hit all five. I just really didn't want to risk uh, Rotom getting hit on its way in. Uh, I was going for Flare Blitz hoping for a burn. I actually took the will o -Wisp move off of Ho Fire off of this before this battle started. I really should have kept it on there for Rhyperior. But now it just comes down to can I hit Leaf Storm or not. Leaf Storm of course has 90% accuracy so I had a pretty good chance of success but I had definitely lost battles in this position before so fingers crossed I do connect with Leaf Storm and that's going to easily KO the Rhyperior because it is four times super effective. And I don't have to worry about Mandy Buzz coming in and resisting the Leaf Storm because it will be KO'd by Stealth Rock as it enters the field. So Skyrender, thanks for our first amazing match. I look forward to many more matches with him. Please go check out his channel if you guys haven't seen his content before. He uh, is one of the few Swedish Poketubers I actually follow. So he has some fantastic content and he will also be recording my LBA uh, league matches in higher quality so that I can bring you guys uh, higher quality videos that are a little bit easier on your eyes. So thank you for that service as well, Skyrander. Um, if you guys like this battle, be sure to let me know. And uh, I have one more tryout video to upload and we'll be moving into the LBA league here shortly. So hope you guys have a great week and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye now.